Hello world, it's Rational Pi. I was going to do a five things on our programming video for you today, but I decided I wanted to go a different route today. I wanted to mention that it doesn't seem like there's been a whole lot of substantial media exposure for what the scientists at NASA and at CERN have been able to do with the New Horizons spaceship and the pentaquark particle discovery. The United States of America was founded upon the ability, the want, to make everybody in its country better. And in the space race, it was a really good example of how scientific discovery and technological, technological innovation was able to captivate not only the five-year-old with a bunch of wonder, but the 70-year-old man who had maybe had no idea of what was going on. It was able to unify a country, to be able to say, hey, we were the first country to have the ability to put somebody on the moon, to go to space, to go to its celestial body and put somebody on the moon. It was able to just captivate us more than social media, more than anything that was on TV at the time. But now with this ability, this little spacecraft to go to Pluto, three billion miles away in 10 years, is something that is just extraordinary. And I wish that everybody were able to regain some of that captivity that the space race was able to put on the United States and just appreciate what we have been able to do. These pictures of Pluto are just fantastic. They're beautiful. The heart in the Pluto is just a very amazing thing to me. Uh, this pentaquark particle, it's a fundamental piece of quantum physics that was theorized until it was discovered last week. These scientific discoveries, while these two may be the big ones at the moment, happen every single day around the world. And something that we need to realize is that America may be a free country and may have the biggest military, but there's countries that are coming for us in the fields of science, math, and technology that are going to overtake us soon. And those people seemingly are being very captivated by their country's discoveries. So I challenge you all watching this today to research not only what the Americans are doing, but around the world, the scientific discoveries that are being made every single day. Try to find some of that youthful captivation that we used to have as a country. And I feel like if we can regain some of that wonder, some of that innovation, we, every single one of us, can truly move forward. Sorry for the change of pace in this video. Sorry for, uh, for going and about face from what I've been do normally doing. But I wanted to make sure that at least in some measure, we hi highlight these amazing scientific discoveries. Again, a comment, a like, a subscribe is always appreciated. I'd love to see a nice discussion over some of the scientific discoveries that you yourself find very interesting and very fascinating. Whether it's physics, whether it's astronomy, whether it's you know, biology, chemistry, whatever. Find something in the science field that, passion, that you are passionate about and you'll make yourselves better for it. I will see you guys in the next video and you guys have a great day. Goodbye.